I was walking through Dutton Island Preserve filming some video for a story when I stopped because I spotted something on this guardrail that caught my attention. It looked way too big to be your typical brown and all, and sure enough, it wasn't. I was always outside capturing them and trying to learn more about wildlife. Eric Suarez says he grew up fascinated by all kinds of reptiles in South Florida. Coming from a Hispanic family, you know, they're like, well, you know, does that even, can you even make money doing that? You know, is that even a real job? He turned it into a job, all right, leading invasive species research for the University of Florida, which also makes him one of the leading voices on the Peter's Rock Agama lizard. And they can potentially eat lizards. Most of our native species, you know, our skinks and things like that, you know, can potentially be threatened by agamas. Suarez confirmed the lizard I saw in Atlantic Beach appears to be an agama. Florida Fish and Wildlife says the lizards, which can be up to a foot long, started out in Africa and first appeared in South Florida in the 1970s, likely as part of the pet trade. Now now, they're working their way north. A lot of non-native species get around uh, through rafting. It's called rafting. It's like hitchhiking on vehicles, and they'll just go, you know, wherever you take them, basically. I reported my sighting, which, according to Ed Maps, an invasive species tracker, was just the 27th confirmed in Duval County. Compare that to Miami-Dade County, which has more than 2,000 confirmed sightings so far. Suarez pointed out agamas are non-venomous, but he is researching the impact they have on mosquito-borne diseases. Brown and O's, unlike other hosts, like birds, for example, are, are kind of a stop host for mosquito-borne diseases like West Nile virus. So if you don't have a nose available to mosquitoes because agamas are suppressing the population somehow, right, then those mosquitoes are likely going to be be biting other species like birds, passing on that West Nile virus to other mosquitoes that don't have it. FWC encourages you to report any sightings of these lizards on EDMAPS like I did, and the agency says you can humanely kill them, however, you have to follow anti-cruelty laws.